Hello everybody, Toes Bomb here, and today we are going to be talking about FFA on Monolith and some of the strategies that I have for this map on this game type. Now, off the beginning of Monolith, we have a ton of power weapons that spawn. We have two needlers, two beam rifles, and a rocket launcher in the middle. Now, Pretty much everyone is going to be spawning on the perimeter of the map, and most people end up spawning really, really close to those beam rifles. So what I generally like to do is to sprint over to the beam rifles and bait them. And what baiting means is to just wait on it and wait for people to try to rush for it and get the beam rifle, and when I see them going for it, I nade it and then blow them up. If I'm really close, I might go for it, but even then, I might still bait it because you can pretty much guarantee guarantee everyone is going to be going after that sniper off the beginning of the game because they spawn very close to it it's very tempting they see that waypoint right there mm, it's like 10 meters away and they want to get it so they just go for it so it's a really great weapon to bait off the beginning um but yeah, basically, I don't really sprint towards it right off the beginning and be very aggressive on it. I try to play a little more passive, and that's what I end up doing a lot, usually, in FFAs for those power weapons, because you can almost always guarantee that someone's going to be spawning next to that power weapon that is coming up and is going to be closer than you. So if you try to sprint for it, they might get it sooner. So just baiting it is a lot of times the better way to go. Now, as far as my strategy in Monolith, for FFA, I like to stay way back around the perimeters and pick off people from a distance because a lot of people like to run around, sprint around top mid, and it's just absolute chaos. So I kind of like to keep it a little more low key and a little slower pace and just kill those one shots across the map and do the least amount of effort possible. Now, also, there are specific parts of the perimeter that I like to stay in. I usually don't like to go up to that very, very high up spot. I don't know what the call outs, what the kids are calling the call, the places on the map these days. So uh, I'll just call it Big Tower, I guess. I usually don't like going over there on the Big Tower. I like staying on the opposite side because it's much less popular. And a lot of times in FFAs, people get really, really focused on one guy that has killed them. If they get killed by a guy, they're going to go try and revenge kill him and just sprint beeline towards the area where they got killed from. And a lot of times, the area where they got killed from is the big tower or top mid because that's where a lot of the action ends up going on. So if I stay back there, all these people are going to be spawning next to me in either one of the side bases or in the opposite base from the big tower and sprinting right there. I either see them on the radar or if it's uh, if it's the pro variant, I just hear their footsteps and their little breathing noises and then I can easily nade them, pick them off, and they have no idea what is going on and don't expect it at all. Now, there's even a more specific location that I really, really, really like going, and that is those little rocky path things at the base that is opposite from the big tower. And these rocky path things, first of all, have absolutely great cover, really great ways to escape, run away from any situation, and then also no one expects it at all. No one expects you to be there at all. Eventually they may catch up, you know, catch on throughout the game and start going after you. That's happened a couple times to me, but usually they don't expect it, and a lot of people seem to even forget about that rocky path because it's just sort of off to the side and it's not a really high trafficked area. Now, another great thing about those rocky paths is you have some awesome, awesome lines of sight. You can see all the way over to that big tower where a lot of people like to fight, and then when you see some guy get one shot, zoom in, pop him right in the head. Now, that is one thing about this map is also is that is it is a uh, fairly big. This is a quite a big map actually when you're playing from those really really long ranges all the way across the entire map from the opposite big tower to the big tower. So I definitely definitely recommend using the DMR for this because otherwise BR headshots from that rocky path that I was talking about all the way up to the big tower is just not feasible. Even if you do with a BR 
you know, three shot him in the body, that's just giving more time, a larger window, for that guy to sprint away, because you're shooting him from such a long range, you can't really reposition yourself really well to get a, another angle on him to continue shooting, because you're miles away across the map, so you want to be able to kill that guy as fast as possible, so again, the DMR, highly, highly recommended for this map and this game type. Now one thing I forgot to mention in last week's video that is a general FFA tip is to flip through the death screens when you die. Even maybe in Infinity Rumble where there is instant respawn, it might still benefit you to quickly just taking a second or two to flick through a few of those death screens so you can get an idea of the enemy's positions. Now this is even more important in the pro variant because there is no uh, instant respawn, so you have like five seconds that you're just waiting there watching your body when you could be flipping through all the death screens and viewing where every single enemy is on the map so you will instantly know what to do off of respawn. So anyways, those are my general strategies for the map monolith on the FFA game type. Anyways, that'll be it for this one. If you liked it, you can leave a like or a comment, or you can subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. strong.